Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you all with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. So why don't you grab a snack and a drink? Hit that subscribe button, best friend. As you guys can see, we are in Bogota, Colombia. Colombia, Colombia, Encanto. Listen, we are in Bogota, which is the capital of Colombia. And, um, bitch, the altitude is altituding, honey. Whew, girl. So we are very high altitude here. And if you ever come here the first couple days, you got to take it kind of easy. Okay, best friend? Because you got to, your body got to, you know, take care. You know, I live in the LA. I was just in an island visiting my mom for 21 days. So, you know sea level and then high altitude you gotta you know so if you hear me out of breath or you notice that my i'm not doing the silly things i normally do understand okay girl but i'm so grateful to bring you guys here this is a little view of our hotel room um but i of course i'm gonna be taking you guys along everywhere i go so don't worry and i'm gonna give you guys a lot of uh story times from here because i lived here many many years a lot of beautiful things happened here i met my husband here so we'll, we'll, we'll get into that in, in, in further videos. But for now, I want to talk to you guys about Celine Dion. Because Celine Dion has been so incredibly brave sharing her story, sharing the things that she has gone through, best friend. And it is so beautiful to see somebody using their platform to raise awareness, to, uh, to show that, that they're only human. And... I think what she is doing with her platform is so beautiful. So if you guys don't know, for the past 17 years, Celine Dion has been suffering from a very rare illness called stiff person syndrome. It is so rare that one in one million people suffer from it. So what is stiff person syndrome? Stiff person is syndrome is a rare autoimmune neurological disorder that most commonly causes muscle stiffness and painful spasms that come and go and can worsen over time. However, some people experience other symptoms such as unsteady gait, I don't know what that is, double vision or slurred speech, okay? Um, she has talked about all those symptoms. She's, uh, what is the cause of stiff person syndrome? So it says, though the cause of stiff person syndrome remains unknown, researchers suspect it may be caused by an autoimmune reaction, specifically the immune uh, system seems to attack a protein called glutamic acid, which helps make a substance called gamma aminobutyric acid. GABA, okay? Um, so that's sort of what they know by now, but they're, they, they don't have a lot of information as of yet. There's, there's literally, you know, thousands of people studying this, but they're trying really hard to figure out exactly what causes this. And can you recover from stiff person syndrome? So it says, that how, how is stiff person syndrome treated? There is no cure for stiff person sy syndrome. Um, it says here that there is a treatment and it's effective in reducing stiffness, sensitivity to noise, touch, and stress, and for improving gait and balance. So she is in the treatment right now. And she did say that there were many, many, many treatments that she has done over the years. And... It has to do a lot with how your body chemistry is. So they have to try all these different ones, see which one is for you. And she says that for the past almost 17 years, she's done them all. She's done every single treatment. Well, especially after she actually found out that there is stiff per that her thing is stiff person syndrome. But she is not ready to give up. She said that while there may be no cure right now, she knows that there's going to be a cure very soon. And that she takes everything step by step. It's all about the attitude. So best friend, um, it's so crazy how she's gone through this for so many years. Now, if you guys don't know, she has a documentary coming out called I Am Celine Dion, and it's gonna come out, I believe it's June 26th, and it is all about everything she's been through in the past years. It's about how she's coped, it's about how she's she's done it, and it's about how she has survived it, okay? Now, I have to say, I absolutely love the fact 
that Celine Dion is actually using her platform for good, unlike other people. Anyways, girl, um, I'll tell you something about Celine Dion. The things that I learned in this interview, she did an interview with ABC, and I'd love to share some uh, clips, but you know what? Every time I share any type of clips with ABC, they always come for me, girl. So uh, you can find it, but I'm gonna give you guys like the clip notes, okay? So she has been going through this for 17 years. They didn't know what it was for many years. It, you know, like I explained, it attacked her vocals. Uh, it, her, her lungs are great, but it's something, you know, the, the, the stiffness of it all, if you will, is what kind of debilitates her from actually singing in her capacity. Um, any type of emotion can trigger a spasm whether it's, she explained whether it's like good stress or bad stress or um, uh, somebody un, un, uh, touches her without her like expecting it. So many things can trigger this, whether you're too sad, you're too happy, you're too stressed, you're not stressed. So you never know when the next spasm is gonna come, right? And she was going through this throughout all of her tours, her Vegas residencies, everything. And because nobody knew what it was for so many years, you know, they were like, no, it's a sinus infection. No, you're, you're getting a cold. No, this, no, that. Well, finally, they discovered what it was. One in a million people have it. And I have to say that her attitude in this interview and from what we've seen of, of the documentary, it is so incredibly beautiful to see Celine Dion, this humongous artist, be so vulnerable, so real, so raw, and so wanting to help people and putting it all out there for the love of her fans. It is the most selfless documentary I have ever seen. And that is how you should use your platform. Um, she does say in the interview that, you know, in 2022, she had to cancel her upcoming, I believe it was a Las Vegas residency or a tour. She's had to cancel it. And she's been nonstop doing this. Now, there were many moments where she thought she would not be able to sing again. But luckily, uh, in this interview, she is so determined to get back on stage. She is so determined to, you know, to just get back on stage and to be the Celine Dion we all love. But now she understands that she's also only human, okay? And when you're only human, you also have to kind of understand your abilities and what you can and cannot do, right? So we as humans, I think that we sometimes put a lot of pressure on ourselves, right? And we want to please everybody and we, and we want to be, we want to give more than, than maybe that we can. So I'm so happy that Celine Dion said that she is, she knows and she's so determined to get back on stage and she knows very well that she will one day, but she also knows that if she has to not perform one night, she won't because she is smart. And that's what I love about her. She's putting herself first. She's setting boundaries, but she, her love for, for being on stage, for seeing her fans, for singing, has overcome any type of feelings of giving up. And I think that she is teaching us such a valuable lesson that even in the darkest of storms, if we really, really, really try and not give up and, and understand that we are only human and that, that anything is possible. I really, really, truly in my mind think that it's going to inspire so many people. I think that what Celine Dion has been through is so incredible and it's so, it's so relatable. Not maybe not the, the, the illness per se, but people can take it in their own type of situation that they might be going through. You know what I mean? So Celine Dion, I applaud you for being so brave I applaud you for being so incredibly honest, so incredibly selfless, and I wish that more celebrities will learn from you and not do a self-obsessed documentary about something that nobody asked for and that nobody can relate to. This is me. Girl, the altitude. This is me. No. So yeah, best friend, what do we think? Let me know in the comments below. Again, it comes out June 26th, I believe. 
Um, if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll set the date here. But so proud of Celine Dion. I cannot wait to see her. As soon as she announces a tour, I am going because one of my biggest dreams is to hear Celine Dion singing and I cannot wait. So I'm so proud of her. And if you are going through a very dark time yourself, just remember that anything is possible. It's okay to give up sometimes in, in moments of darkness, but at the end of the day, don't give up. It's okay to have moments, but don't let that be the, the moment. Do you know what I mean? Like the thought of, girl, I, I'm done. Okay, we all have that. But in the back of, the, of your mind, you know you're not done, bitch. You know you got this, okay? Anyways, uh, I love you all so much. I can't wait to show you more of, Colo of Bogota. Uh, this is just, just a view, but I can't wait to show you. If you guys want like a room tour or like what's in my bag, I don't know, girl. Let me know in the comments. I love to, uh, I love to be more open with you guys. Anyways, I love you all and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.